Hi everybody, Monday again. I don't know in other countries if it's as hot as it is in Spain, but here it's pretty hot. Already from early, very early in the morning, like 28 at eight o'clock. And then over the day, 33, 35, pretty hot. Anyway, gonna change the energy. This is recorded, it's not a YouTube live. I'll do it probably next week when the heat is gone because I'll try to do it very quickly. I don't wanna I'll be here because it's very hot. I try to be outside as much as I can in the shadow. Anyway, and I don't have signal everywhere, that's why. I just had uh, the recording uh, for the Spanish group and the cards that pop out are two at once. Existence and the soul. Those two cards, they're important. Now, existence. As you see, there is a woman and she's looking at the stars and the moon. Is the night card meaning uh, on your psychic side, unconsciously, you know what it is, you know you have to do it, you have to manifest this work so that it takes place. Now, all this week and next week, it's about recovering fragments. And this card is about this. Existence, the poetry that I wrote for this card says the following. I exist, you as well, star in the sky. We still are one. I remember you. You looked at me shining. I was a child and I was just learning to count the years. Wondering, why should I do here? What was my mission? And then I realized only to shine and shaking like you shine, just like you. The poetry says much about the card, but here, <clears throat> We see five stars. This is a card of catharsis, of a big, big change. Meaning there's a part of you that is divided. It's fragmented between what it's being expected from others, from society, from family, and who you truly are. That free essence of you, that it's you. And the card is about reclaiming, healing, that and completing this uh, cycle. Now, here <clears throat> you're embarking to a really deep journey to transform and heal everything that has to do with the first center, first chakra, your roots, your family, and your libido, the, your connection to life. Because the woman is looking at the green, which is the waters, which represent life, everything, adventure, love, everything you wonder and you really want, but you feel it's for others and not for you. You're only observing and you keep looking as well at the moon. Now the woman has an inverted mudra. Normally there's this mudra, but this one, it's in front of the, the womb. Meaning here, the healing, that you need to do, it's about your mother. Limitations and roots. For maybe, it could be for a man or for a woman, doesn't matter, okay? Now, part of you, because you have not reclaimed this fragment, and this is a work that you need to do, sometimes alone, sometimes with contention, is a soul retrieving so that you can really manifest who you really are. It's like part of you is still energetically a virgin, like a part of you has not been shown, visible. It's not out there yet, because it has to be manifested, okay? Now, here it's important to do the work of reclaiming those fragments from the shadow that have to do with limitations from the family. Okay? Find out which one they are. This is important work. 
not just for you, I'm doing it myself, okay? Now, um, your objective is to integrate this, to complete this work. And it's interesting that there were two cards coming out together, existence and the soul. Now the soul, which is, this is card number two, and this is 33. Now the soul, it's a woman here, thinking about a heart where there is an integration, a golden heart, and look it at a white dove that has come through the window. Now, 33 is about a big change, obviously, like you start doing things from a different perspective, different way, okay? And the poem says, I go into the house of the soul where the wisdom, the feeling, and the being unite. It is a humble place <clears throat> where everything has its rhythm and its place. It speaks with deepness about wonder, about everything that is great. It's a long time that I have known this place, but I have not visited this place as I do now. Now, this is a vision of an integration, but the dove, it's about this new path you're embarking on after you've done this work. <clears throat> I would say that here you need to integrate everything that you have done in the previous work so that you start manifesting everything that you have not done until now. What would I recommend? To start writing your dreams and when you meditate, you meditate in connection with the higher self. So, the car of existence and the car of the soul. This is the work for this week. So, see you next Monday. Big kiss. Bye-bye.